Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. In the previous video, we redesigned the user interface for the end scene. Now in this video, we will create a new scene called as menu scene and we will design the user interface for the menu scene. So first I'll go inside the scenes folder and inside the scenes folder, I will now create a new scene. So if you guys remember when we were creating the end scene, so during that time, I told you there are two ways in which you can create scenes. So the first method using which you can create a scene is that you can right click inside the scenes folder, you can go in create and then you can choose the scene option. Okay. You can also create a new scene by clicking on file new scene option. So if suppose I click on the new scene option, you can see over here a new scene has been created. But if you look on top, this scene is not saved. So first I'll click on control S I'll save this scene. So as you can see, if I click on control S, I am now getting the ball runner folder inside which I have all these folders. Okay. So these folders are nothing but the folders represented inside the project stamp. So since I want to create the scene inside the scenes folder, so I'll open the scenes folder and inside the scenes folder and I'll give the scene a name of menu scene. Okay. So after renaming the scene, I'll click on save. So now, as you can see, I have this new scene called as menu scene. Now inside this menu scene, I'll first add a raw image. So I'll right click in the hierarchy. I'll go in UI and then I'll select the raw image option. I'll go inside the scene tab to see this properly. Okay. So now, as you can see, I have this raw image inside the canvas. The next thing that I'll do is I'll go inside the background folder and now I will drag a new image to set as the background for a main scene. Okay. So I've downloaded one image. So if I go inside the background folder, you can see over here, I've downloaded one image from start. Okay. And this image that you see, I have downloaded this image from pixels.com. So to copy this image, I'll bring the unity editor on the right side and then I'll drag this image inside the background folder. Now, once the image is dragged in the background folder, I will just, I will first select the raw image and then I will drag this menu scene image inside the texture. So now, as you can see, this image has been shown over here. And if you look carefully, this image is somewhere on the left side. So to bring this in the center, I'll click on the rect transform anchors and presets. I'll then click on the shift and alt key and I'll bring this image in the center. Okay. After this, let's resize this image. So let's see what are the dimensions of this image. So if I go in properties and if I check the details, so you can see the dimensions of this image are 1280 by 854. So I'll change the width and height of this image. So I'll select the raw image. Next, I'll change the width to 1280. And then I'll change the height to 854. Okay, after this, I'll use the scale tool and I'll scale this image down. So as you can see, I've scaled this image. Next, I'll use a position tool and I'll drag this image a little down. After this, I'll go inside the game tab and let's see how this image looks when the screen is enlarged. So as you can see, this image is not fitting properly in our screen. So to fit this image properly, I'll first click on the canvas option. Next, I'll go inside the canvas scaler and I'll change the constant pixel size to scale with screen size. Okay. So as you can see, the image is shrinked down again. And this time what I'll do is I'll again click on draw image. I'll click on the scale tool and let us scale the image one more time. Okay. And now let us play the game and see how this image looks perfect. So as you can see over here, the image is properly fitted inside the screen. I'll come out of play mode and next let's add a UI text. So I'll right click on the canvas. I'll click on UI and I'll select the text option. So currently the text reads new text. So I'll change the text to ball runner. Next, I'll click on fonts and I'll drag the arrow font in place of Arial. Okay. The font size is basically small. So I'll click on the text option and I'll increase the font size. 
okay it's basically going outside so i'll click on this 2d scale tool and then i will scale the ball runner over here okay next i'll also bring this ball runner in the center and after this i will choose the ball runner option and let us bring this in the center so you can see over here that if i bring the ball runner over here some blue lines some blue dotted lines are shown this means the ball runner ui text is exactly in the center of the screen i'll increase the font size a little bit more but before that i'll enlarge this thing i'll change the font size to maybe 50 okay so 50 is good to go i'll keep the ball runner somewhere over here and next i'll choose this color option and i'll choose some color from this background image so i'll choose this color over here okay i'll move the text a little bit on top okay so i'll move the text lit somewhere over here i'll move the image also a little bit on top now after setting the ui text next i will add a button inside the menu scene so i'll right click on the canvas i'll click on ui and then i'll click on this button option okay i'll bring the button somewhere over here i'll click on the 2d scale tool i'll enlarge the size of the button a little bit and then i'll set the button also horizontally in the center now if you look inside the button there is a text component which is the child of this button ui component so i'll click on the text component and i'll change okay but before changing the text you can see over here the text of this button is button which is written over here so next i'll change this text to play after that in place of font i'll again give this arrow font to the text so you can see the text is changed now i'll increase the font size a little bit okay after this let's make some modifications inside the button color so i'll click on this button option so please make sure that you click on the button ui and after this you can see over here inside this button script option i have so many color options okay so this is the normal color so you can see currently the normal color of the button is white i'll change the normal color of the button to a little bluish so i'll click on this option and i'll choose a random color okay so i'll choose this blue color for the, as the normal color next is the highlighted color so, so the highlighted color basically means the color will change when the mouse hovers on top of this button okay so i'll set the highlighted color to 0076BFF okay and at the last for the pressed color I'll give a color value of 6B99BEFF so guys I basically found out the hex color value before and I'm just adding them in place of this hex color and the hex color value that I've added is from this image itself okay so previously i have clicked on this color pick option and i've choose some color and then i am now using that color option in place of the button okay so the color for the highlighted color was 0076 beff okay so i'll click on close again so now let's see how the final main menu scene looks like so if i click on the play option so you can see over here this is how the menu scene looks so on the top we have this ui text called as ball runner and you can see over here the color of this button is blue and if i move my mouse on top of this button you can see the color keeps on changing if i click on the mouse you can see the color changes again okay so the one last thing that i'll do right now is i'll click on the text and i'll change the text color to white so this time if i click on play you can see this is how the ui of my main menu looks like so the ball runner is on top the play button is at the bottom and when you click on play the game will basically move to the next level okay so guys that's it from this video i hope from this video you would have understood how to design your main menu okay and in the next video we will write the program so that whenever you click on this play button you will be moved or you will be redirected to the main scene I hope you would have liked this video. This was a free video from my virtual reality course 
which is available on Udemy. This course is currently priced at $200, but you can get it at a discounted price of just $10 by clicking on the link in the description. So if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos like these. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next video.